Welcome to the Sequence 15 Patch Bay Tutorial. I'm going to demonstrate the effects of half-normal and non-normal connections with this patch bay. I actually have two units here. Uh, the top unit and the bottom unit are separate units and they are different makes. The top unit is the one we're going to be looking at and we're going to be focusing on this area here. If you can read the legend, it says Proteus Main, the top jacks, and the mixer 11 and 12 are the bottom jacks. So I'm going to start a sequence over here on Metro. It's going to play to the Proteus, the Proteus 2, and we can see that the mini watt is flashing on it. So the patch bay says that Proteus is normal to mixer 11 and 12. We go over to mixer 11 and 12 and we bring the faders up and we hear the sequence. Focusing on the patch bay, we are now going to insert a pair of cords into the mixer 11 and 12 jacks. And as we do this, you will hear that the sound becomes cut off because we have now interrupted the normaling between the Proteus and the Mixer 11 and 12 inputs. What we're going to do now is stop the sequence over here, change the MIDI routing on the sequence to the Morpheus, and start it up again. Now we look over here and we see the MIDI light flashing on the Morpheus. Now as we connect the patch panel, Course, we will begin here with Morpheus. Changing the normaling on this patch panel. We are going to change the normaling on on jack pair number 18. As you can see currently, there's a there's a gray jack showing at the top uh, on this particular patch bay. That's its way of telling you that that pair is non-normaled. The cards are held in the back by these plastic retaining nuts and we will unscrew the one for number 18 and the card pops loose and this is the card. This unit shipped with one extra card so if you ever had a jack that went bad you could simply plug the spare card in. You can see the one gray jack, the other one's a black. That gray jack tells you by looking at it from the front whether the output is normal or non-normal. Apologies for that, I couldn't get it back in with one hand. We'll tighten the nut back up. And we come around to the front and we can see that jack pair number 18 is now not showing the gray jack, which means it's now a half normal connection. You can see 16 and 17 next to it which still do show the gray jacks. Those are non-normal connections. And the reason they're set up that way is because I have some auxiliary outputs from the TG33 that I don't use very often. And I don't really have an input to normal them to.